Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Riptide CG was an awesome game, and even made our list of the top racing games for Android. Now, Riptide GP2 is out, and we're going to take a closer look to see if it's as awesome as its predecessor. <laughs> Let's start again with the gameplay. If you played the first Riptide, then most of this will feel familiar. You race around a track in a jet ski, tilting your phone to steer and tapping the boost to get some extra speed. In that respect, not much has changed. You can change from tilt to touch controls if you so choose, but otherwise everything remains pretty much the same. What has changed is the trick system. Before there were a predefined number of tricks, in Riptide GP2 you can now unlock new tricks and set which motions do which tricks. So there's a nifty new feature, also there are a lot more tricks available than the prior game. There is also now a much more in-depth gaming experience with GP2. There is a career mode and an online multiplayer mode. The career mode has over 30 races and a total of 102 stars to earn before you're done. During races you earn XP to upgrade tricks and money to upgrade your jet ski. That brings us to the last thing we want to talk about, the depth. Not only can you buy new jet skis to race, but you can upgrade existing ones, so there is that element too. Pair that with the play games integration and the online multiplayer, and this is a game that you can easily immerse yourself in for hours. Like the first game, the graphics in GP2 are phenomenal. Everything looks good and sharp, and they even brought back that water on the camera thing that we liked oh so much from the first one. It's not all that different from the first game, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? They've even integrated a settings menu for graphics, so those with older devices can tweak their graphics to get better performance. Usually the default settings work pretty well, but if you need to turn them down to remove the lag, there is that option. It should be mentioned that this game is specifically geared for Project Shield, so it'll probably look a lot better on that. The sound was good enough. The sound effects were accurate and the racing noises sounded good. The music was not intrusive and did really well in setting a mood without taking the forefront. The only sound effect that didn't sound quite right was the broken glass noise when you wiped out. Okay, so here's what we liked about Riptide GP2. First and foremost is the gameplay improvements. While the game controls and physics haven't changed too much, the game's depth is a phenomenal improvement over the first game, especially the Play Store game's integration. There is the the longer career, the ability to upgrade jet skis, the online multiplayer, and with all the new settings menu items, it really does feel more like a console game than most Android games. This is something we've all been waiting for out of the gaming industry. Finally, the last thing we want to mention is the new trick system. The ability to unlock tricks and control which ones your riders can do gives the game something more than just grinding wins for money. If you add the ability to customize your jet ski in uniform colors, it just adds more personality, which is always a good thing. No game is perfect, and that includes this one. The first thing we didn't like was that awful broken glass sound you hear when you wipe out. A splash would have sufficed, or the crowd booing or gasping. It's nitpicking for sure, but glass breaking just sounded so out of place that it's actually noticeable. Like all games these days, there is a store to buy in-game money to spend, which is pretty much an automatic con. They don't give a lot of options. It starts out at $2 for 50,000 coins. There are $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100 options. We would have liked to have seen a few more options, or at least more more options for us penny pinchers, like a dollar or something. Overall, there isn't a lot wrong with this game, and pretty much all of our issues were little nitpicks rather than serious issues. During our testing, there was no real deal breakers. In other words, we couldn't find anything seriously wrong with this game. Except that glass breaking noise, it really is horrible. For the final thoughts, we'll start by saying that this game was genuinely impressive. When first starting, there is just so much to do, and it's not every day that you get that feeling from a mobile game. Vector Unit was going for a console level game here. It's no Skyrim, but it beats the tar out of Duke Nukem forever. So would we recommend this game? Of course we would. I bought a cup of coffee today that wasn't nearly as satisfying as this game, so the $2.99 they're asking is definitely reasonable. It's arguably one of the best jet ski racing games ever released, and since it's better than the first one, and the first one made our best racing games for Androids list, well, you can put two and two together. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. Don't forget to check out the written companion to this video and the social media links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.